So here we are sniping crows and an interesting thing about averaging the wind. I'm shooting out there 230 yards and there is a howling gale when you walk out there. So you'd imagine that you'd put in your calculator, right, I've got a 15 mile an hour full value wind howling away. It's not quite full value actually, but it's um, a stiff, stiff breeze. Now I put my Kestrel weather vane about a third of the way out over here. Now that should be pointing off about from our angle here about three quarters off to the left. Not quite full value. There you go, that sort of thing. And what's interesting is because of this cover here behind me, this big hedge line, the wind isn't actually bearing on the bullet, which of course is flying pretty much along the ground from my point of view here. That's 80, 90 yards away. And look, it's there you go. It hasn't got a 15 mile an hour full value wind on it, more than it is flying to the moon. That's just getting little eddies and currents, and if I zoom in on it with the scope, um, it's reading one mile an hour. I don't know if you could see it with this, it's getting a bit shaky, but one mile an hour, one and a half, just enough to make it flap about. So there's no way that in the first hundred yards of our flight from our muzzle here toward our target along here, that we have a high speed three quarter or, or full value wind which means that you have to average your figures say it's 15 miles an hour out there we know it's dead windy in the middle but where it's exposed and the winds coming from overhead and, and hitting the ground and, and affecting the bullet but we know that the first hundred yards because of this here there's basically nothing of any effect apart from a few eddies and little currents so if your calculator says one and a half minutes I wouldn't be putting any more than half that on because half the distance there's no wind and uh, that's why you have to remember that taking the wind reading where you are is all well and good you've got to think about the whole path of the bullet to the target in fact it's doubly relevant because toward the target especially at longer ranges you know um, rabbits at eight nine hundred yards the, the bullet's going that much slower that further out that it is more affected by the wind. So it's doubly important to make sure you're thinking about the whole flight line all the way to the target and putting out wind flags or in my case this uh, weather vane halfway along is very very informative. And there we go.